What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning into the channel. We are still playing Bass Masters Fishing 2022. Today I'm fishing on the St. Lawrence River, one of my favorite lakes. If you are like me and you are just waiting for them blue catfish to bite, hopefully soon they'll get that fixed. But in the meantime, I am catching, I'm having some great times catching some of the largest, hardest fighting fish in the game. The musky, the northern pike, man, they will rip out your line. So we're going to go out and catch some today. We're going to talk about some equipment, my loadout, three of my favorite hotspots, and I'll show you on the map and how to catch them. Now this first spot I am fishing is right behind the starting point. So just make a U-turn, get under those bridges. I call it the bridge area. There's two bridges you can pass under. And there's one bridge you cannot. So if you go all the way to the back on those little canals, you will find the bridge you cannot go under. So start fishing there. Work your way back. The little canals are full of fish. The little ponds in between the canals are a great place to catch all types of fish. But they are full of tiger muskies. Moving on to location number two, one of my favorite hot spots in St. Lawrence River, the little island surrounded by deep water on the northeast side of the map. So there's deep water surrounding this island, but also has some very deep spots that we'll get to later. But on the little point on this island has a great little hole. There's largemouth bass, brown trout, rainbow trout, walleye, they got it all. So this is a great spot to come fill up the old ice chest with fish now i am fishing shallow but there's deep water right off the edges of the island so you can cast out into the deeper water you can make some fan casts in the shallow but this little honey spot right here is just always stacked up with fish so we'll go over some loadout the lures i use but we're going to get into some fishing action and we're going to go deep baby go deeper go home so yes, they do have large mouth bass located around this island, but this is not one of the locations I fished during the tournament because there's so many musky, they will just bite everything in the water that you throw at them. And if you're looking for some drag ripping action, these muskies and northern pikes and those big trophy tigers, they will rip out your line. So we're going to go over some loadouts and take a look at the 50 pound braid I use just for St. Lawrence River, including some heavy action poles. Let's get into some fishing action. I'm going to take you out to a deep hole. I'd like to thank one of my viewers on the live stream, Jack. Jack, shout out to you, buddy. That deep hole you put me on, it is so much fun. I would say out of 100 casts, 99 times, I caught a fish. So let's get into some action. We'll bring you out to the deep hole. So once you leave the island, head east over to the buoys. You don't have to run into the buoys like I did. That is totally optional. Look for a spot that goes 50 feet deep. Use the old fish finder to locate the fish. If you see some big boys down there, you are on the right spot. So let's take a quick look at the map. and You can see my waypoint. You can see where I'm located all the way to the east side of the map where you can't go any further. You'll probably be in Canada. So let's take a look at some loadout. We're going to talk about the four different magnum spoons that I've been using. So let me pull this up. The gizzard has been catching tigers, some trophy, pike, and bass. The shattered glass gold is also catching some trophy tigers and some bass. The shattered glass silver catches some nice pike, a bunch of bass, including some bunch of trophy bass, and some tigers. The silver chrome I probably had the least amount of luck with, but still catches bass and tigers. So I am using the extra heavy rods, some nice thick 50 pound braid line. So extra heavy fast, that'll do it because you got to set that drag high to catch these big old musky. So let's drop some down. So basically you just need to cast out and let that baby sink. I've been doing some experiments with some drop shots with the half ounce, three ounce weight and some different lure some different soft plastics but the magnum spoons seem to work the best so basically just a lazy man fishing nice quiet day on the boat you just cast out let it drop so you can use your fish finder you'll be able to see if they're 25 to 30 feet 35 feet down once it gets around that area sometimes they hit it before it gets there 
If they don't, I usually pop it up and down a little bit. So let's go deep, baby. Go deep or go home. That's what I always say. So yes, they got some great largemouth bass here, but I'm not sure if I'd fish this spot in a tournament because it will take some time to locate the bass. If you're on them, you're on them, but you only get 30 minutes in a tournament. And they got some big ones down here. They got some big, fat belly donkey bass. I like to swim by my lure and give me a little tease. Now the fish will bite and run outside the buoys, but don't worry, you won't lose them. So they can go, but you cannot go. So let's take a look at the map. You can pause it and you can take a look at the three locations I'm in fishing. So as always, feel free to drop a comment with your favorite location on this river. Tell me what your favorite lure is for catching these big giant trophy muskies. Let me know. Let's share with everybody else who's watching. Now, the temperature. I have not been keeping track of the temperature every time I fish. But I did keep track of the temperature on the several attempts to made to win the Bass Master Classic. So on this river, I've noticed the temperature will be in the 30s and sometimes in the 50s. But so far, it doesn't seem to affect the muskie bite. This may, however, affect the largemouth bass bite. So when you're pre-fishing, keep that in mind. When you're looking for these spots for largemouth bass and you're finding them and the temperature is 51 and the day the tournament starts, the temperature is 39, this will definitely affect the fishing location. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on fishing and I will see you next time. Right there, it's a little choke panda.